ball hit the wall, bounce back. What is not conserve? Conserve means what? Ah? All MV, 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 how you know? Mass is M, momentum is MV, speed is V, kinetic energy is half MV squared. How do you know? What does conserve mean? Conserve means uh, it is same before and after. When we say energy is conserved, energy is same before after. Momentum conserved, momentum is same before and after. Before after lah, conserve means the same. <laughs> Not conserve. Okay, let's see. So we have a before, which is the first one. Before you hit the wall, after you hit the wall. So when they say conserve, or then you see before after, is it same or not? Okay. Let's see. Kinetic energy. Uh, is kinetic energy conserve? Don't know. We calculate and see lah. So at the beginning, you have velocity v. So the energy that you have, kinetic energy, it will be half m v squared. V is just V. Oh. After you hit the wall, you are moving with speed V. Mm, and this one is also half M V square. Are they the same before and after? Yes, they are. So kinetic energy is conserved. So it's not the answer. Like we want to look for not conserved. Okay, that's conserved. So we say kinetic energy before. Yeah, how to say ah? Uh, Ke initial equals to Ke after or final. Mass. Is mass conserved? It should be. La. If this fella got mass M after he hit the wall, it didn't break apart, right? It didn't become poof, become cloud. It didn't gain something extra. So it should be the same. So okay, la. no change in mass, we assume. They didn't tell us anything that happened. Momentum. Hmm. Is momentum conserved for the ball? So here we have to check and see and remember, oh, momentum. Ah. You have to consider the signs actually, you know. Direction matters. So maybe you can say like, hmm, maybe I'll say to the left is positive. To the right is negative. Direction. I define the direction. That means oh, this one will be negative. This will be positive. Hey, let's double check and see what's momentum. Ah. So momentum before the initial momentum will be mass times velocity. But don't forget the negative. After collision, the momentum is hey, different already. Well, positive mass times velocity. Got difference or not? Got difference. Got one negative, one positive. Oh, so this one is different already. Different direction or different sign so different you know momentum is a vector so is it the same no different idea okay so this will not conserve because it is different for the ball only yeah we're only looking at the ball just the ball last one the speed let's check and see speed conserve our miss mm, speed or oh, we don't care about direction no so speed is still v no? it's constant this one, we don't care about direction. Because speed is vec uh, sorry, speed is scalar. The only thing that is vector is momentum. Everything else scalar, I don't care where you point now. Point to left, up, down, left, right, don't care. So this one is only for vectors. Where the direction actually matters. Okay. So best choice here you can give is C lah for this one. Now you might be wondering, Miss, then we say momentum is conserved, all that, that thing is actually for what? Ah? When we say momentum is conserved, that is usually referring to the whole system. If we look at this whole thing, including the wall, then you can say for the system, Who's inside your system? Ball and the wall. Then yes, momentum is conserved, which means you can say a few uh, things like momentum before total la uh, ball and wall equals to total momentum after. Ah, this one then yes, conserve before is same as after. But for the ball itself, different. 
one fella move to the right, one fella to the left. But the whole system, ah yes, momentum is conserved. Other ways you can talk about this momentum is uh, we mentioned about change in momentum. Okay, the the wall got change in momentum. The ball also got change in momentum. So you can also another way. The fact number two this is the first fact. Fact number two, you could also say the change in momentum of the ball for change, right? What's the change in momentum? Mv minus minus Mv. Oh, okay, let's write here. Change in momentum of the ball is final minus initial. So final minus initial. 2Mv. Mm. Change in momentum of the ball will be the same amount as the change in momentum of the wall but with a negative sign because equal opposite change. This one is ball. Change in momentum of the wall hence will be positive to mv. Okay, uh, so this is the first thing. It's different now uh, momentum for one object for or the whole system of two objects that hit each other. Some notes to make to sell. Okay, another confusion I noticed is ab uh, about momentum versus energy. When are they conserved? When are they not? Okay, so let's look at a whole system. For a whole system of two objects or more, here we got two objects uh, for system, we have several things like um, what we have uh, momentum, conserve. And you have energy conserved. Oh, my lines are very cha cha today. Here. I want to redraw that. Okay, so when is energy conserved? When is momentum conserved? Do they affect each other? The answer is they don't affect each other. The first one momentum. Momentum will be always conserved if there is no external force. For all this, if no external force, what does it mean? External force? Nah, got friction ah. Uh, what else uh, Air resistance ah. Uh. Usually we don't consider external force uh. So in most of our uh, scenarios, we will look at just conserved momentum, and it's always conserved. But then kinetic energy may not always be conserved. So if kinetic energy is conserved, this is what we call an elastic collision. If energy is not conserved, then we call this an inelastic collision. Okay, got difference, huh? But in either case, elastic, inelastic, the momentum is always still conserved. Wow, then how do what's the difference between elastic and inelastic? Elastic collision is an example that we have here. Lo. The the kinetic energy is the same, going the same speed, come out at the same speed. Doesn't matter which direction as long as you have the same speed. So the total energy before and after is the same. Of whoever is moving. Whoever is moving got energy AD. Inelastic though, some energy loss. Lost to where? This one, we can say energy loss in the collision itself. Not because of friction or outside thing. The collision. So, for example, maybe uh, energy loss as sound. Maybe when you hit the wall, ping, bang, bong, bong, suddenly got a sound. Oh, why got sound one? Energy release. Oh. So, it could be sound. It could also be deformation of the ball or the wall. It could be heat. When you collide, it get hot. All these things, energy loss inside the system, not external. So maybe you throw super, super hard the ball against the wall, then you see the wall dented, ready, sink in, or oh, energy loss. 